Hello, so today I have my February favourites. So I'm just gonna jump right on into it. I don't have that much, but February is quite a short month, so maybe that is why. So let's get going. I am going to start with beauty. I have two beauty favourites. The first is this. I use this quite a lot towards the start of the month, as you can see my nails are painted now. But I use this a lot towards the start of the month. This is the Essie Nail Varnish in Maximilian Strasser. I don't know if I pronounced any of that right. But I heard a lot about this nail varnish. Lily Pebbles always talks about it and her nails always look a nice colour when she says she's wearing it. So I brought myself one. And I really like it. It's kind of a muted blue, grey, creamy colour. And it looks really nice. So that is a winner. Another beauty favourite is kind of a old favourite. Uh, this is the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. The Spotlight Glow Stick. I used to work for Marc Jacobs by the way. So... That's why I've tried a lot of their products, in case you're wondering. It is a cream highlighter. It's kind of gold toned, kind of silver toned, quite iridescent-y. Looks very natural on, very blendable, very easy to apply. You can either apply it straight from the thing, which I quite like to do, because you could get it in all the places, quite good shape. Or you can warm it up in your hands and apply it using fingers. I've really been enjoying this. I just started using it again because I didn't fancy a powder highlight. I wanted something creamy. And I've been using this and I really love it. I forgot how great this product is. I'll do a swatch so you can kind of see the shade. They just have this one highlight shade, but it's all you need. It suits any skin tone because like I said, it's somewhere in between gold and silver tone to highlight. There's a bit of pinkiness to it, a bit of yellowness to it. It's really, really beautiful and, and a great quality product. Very blendable, very creamy really really nice to you by the way just to let you know i have a bit of a cold so if i'm sniffling i'm sorry it's snowing at the moment by the way i hope really hope it is giving me like some good lysin because i didn't say i was supposed to do that we've got a snow day today um walked home from work last night and didn't have to go in this one i wasn't in this one in any way but snow everywhere the next category, I was going to say a skincare, but I'd say it's more body care because it's not kind of just for my face. So I've got a few things. There's a new moisturiser I have been using, which I have been really enjoying. You can see by how much is gone, how much I've been enjoying it. Look at all of that I've used. Can you really tell? Yeah. And this is uh, La Roche-Posay Tolerain Ultra Intense Soothing Care Moisturiser. And I just picked this up on a whim in Boots. And I really like it. It smells quite chemically is obviously unfragrant so it smells quite chemically but you can kind of get past that it's a really nice consistency it's not too thick it's not too runny it's runny the word i want <laughs> runny is the word i'm using and my skin has been so much better since i've been using it it's kind of so much smoother yeah it's just made doing my skincare nice and i can see a difference in my skin another favorite is this this is the O'Keeffe's Working Hand Hand Cream. At the start of the month, I had really, really dry cut hands. They were really gross and really painful. I um, had quite a few big cuts on my fingers where the skin had broken just from where they were so dry. I still have a scar from one of them. That's how deep it was. Very, very painful. So I went into Boots and spoke to a lovely lady and she recommended this. So I got this. And I wore it on my hands overnight with like these weird clinical cotton gloves on. I think for two nights and my hands were completely healed after. I've used quite a lot because I, I'm still using it every time my hands feel dry. But I cannot believe what a drastic difference it made so quickly. I was very thick and it doesn't really sink into the skin. So it's not one you can kind of take on the go and moisturise your hands as you go. And that's why I was wearing the gloves with it as well, just so it stayed on my hands. But it's made such a difference. So if you have really, really dry hands, I'd recommend this. The next thing I have body care wise is something I got in a set. I've really been enjoying it. I don't know if you can buy it singularly. I will do some research into that. I'll link it in the description bar if you can. But it is this. This is the Neon Intense Deep Sleep treatment and this is a ruler bowl so it came in this set and this is actually my mum's but I was really struggling to sleep so she kindly 
never use it and I've become addicted to this one. Um, so it's a neon deep sleep set with an oil, a pillow spray and the roller ball. But the one I've really been loving is a roller ball. You can really get into the habit of just popping a roller ball on before sleep and I think it's been making a really good difference really big difference to the quality of my sleep. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to buy a bigger one. And also this lasts so long, I mean, I've been using it for ages and only the tiniest amount has gone. So I've just been applying it to my pulse points. But it's nice because sometimes in the night I like turn over and move my arm and I just get a whiff of like lavender, lavendery goodness. So I really like that. I'm whizzing through these babes. Okay, next I am going to do fashion. A jumper, this. This jumper, it's like a thick cable knit jumper, really, really cosy in a royal blue colour. Got it from H&M. I brought a pair of trousers with a blue in the check and I just wanted something to wear on the top. And I was looking for something for the evening, but this jumper caught my eye. And it was on sale, I think, for £17. So I was like, I'm going to go and buy that. And when I got to the till, they charged me a fiver, which is great. And I have got so much wear out of it. It's so crazy because it's such a thick knit. It feels a really good quality as well. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it because I'm not going to do it any justice. But it's a really, really nice, cosy jumper that I have been enjoying. And I think it kind of really suits me and looks really, really good. My other fashion favourite, I wasn't sure whether to include because recently they've given me blisters. But I've had them a while and it's the first time they have. So it is these. These are my Doc Martens. So we're trying to link the exact style below because I'm not sure what style they are. But they've not got like any of the yellow stitching on them. They're all black and they're lace up and they're quite shiny. But I have been wearing them with everything. They just go with everything. So I got them for Christmas and I have been wearing them constantly ever since. And I find them really comfortable. The only time I didn't find them comfortable is a few days ago when I wore them and my socks fell down. I got blisters on the back of my feet and I was really, really gutted about it. And they're really, really painful. But other than that, they've never given me blisters. They've always been comfortable and I was worried because I thought they were a bit tight because they seemed to have stretched perfectly. And they look good with everything. They're tidy but they're casual and they match everything. And I really, really like them. So my battery cut out for ages. Well, my battery ran out of charge and I had to stop and charge it. I do have a spare battery, but I don't think that's charged either and I don't know where it is. So we just took a short pause, but I am back and I've just got a few more things to show you. Hopefully the battery will last the rest of the video because I can't be dealing with having to stop start constantly. Right, I was just about to show you a book favourite from the month. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see that I really enjoyed this book. And it is this one. This is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. This book is really really good. Dolly's writing is amazing. This book was always going to be good because Dolly is a great writer. Her story is so interesting. The way she talks about people and her relationships is so relatable and there are lots of like random things thrown in like recipes and like pages of everything I knew about love as a teenager, everything I know about love as like whatever age which is really interesting to see how it changed through the years really really well written really really interesting and i think you can learn a lot from it it's definitely going to be a book i read again i really really like that book it's a very good book for if you're single like it's quite empowering to single people and it knows about everything she knows about love like she doesn't end up with somebody and in love and happy ever after do you know what i mean it's very real really really lovely obviously it's real because it's a memoir it's her life really really lovely book I think especially if you're single you could take a lot from it but if you're not it's a very interesting read and there's a lot to learn I will be rereading it really funny in places really sad in other places there was a part I cried and lots of parts I laughed so really really wonderful book makes you feel all the emotions another favorite of mine kind of on the same subject is poetry writing so this is a book which I wrote poems down in I um, have recently started writing more poetry and I have try been trying to be a bit brave and sharing it on Instagram. I had a chat with Laura Jane Williams about this. I will link her down below. I did some coaching with her. And she said she thought I should share my writing 
for my poetry and about how you are not your art so even if it's shit it doesn't say anything about me so I'm still the same person as I am if my work's rubbish and if it's not people might like it so I've been sharing it in order to practice I've been doing just little snippets of it on Instagram which has meant I've also been writing more at the moment I haven't shared anything I've written recently but I will do that and I've really been enjoying it and it's kind of I'm trying to kind of rebrand myself slightly so that there's more of a focus on writing rather than a bit of everything because if you follow me on all of the things you know I do a bit of everything so I kind of want to zoom in on the writing aspect and share a lot more kind of personal writing so I have really been enjoying writing poems and if you follow me on Instagram you can see some snippets of those I will link my Instagram in the bio and put my username here it's just like Chloe Harriet's by the way so yeah okay the only other two favorites i have are i have one tv favorite which is on netflix and it is friends i have been re-watching friends and i've really been enjoying it i've always watched friends but i've always just put on whatever episodes on but i've actually really liked watching it from the start and seeing kind of how it all evolves in the right order so i've really really been enjoying watching friends two things i have noticed they get out a lot of flights quite casually well they get they get a lot of flights ross randomly flies to london to see emily why does he have the money to do that and chandler pays for a flight to get away from janice like why are they getting all these flights like why have they got the money to get those flights and rachel gets a flight to go to ross's wedding but who can afford to just go to the airport and get a flight when they're 26 and rachel has been a waitress and has only just got a decent job just don't get that really and also Ross and Monica have a very affectionate relationship for brothers and sisters I'm sorry but they've always got their arms around each other and I don't feel like real brothers and sisters are like that I'm not like that with my brother and sister I mean I'm not a very affectionate person so it's no surprise but they, they always do like shots of them and like they're sat in the coffee house and they're like having a hug while they're sat down Sorry, but I don't think people do that unless they're in a relationship. Other than that, I've really been enjoying it. Really, really enjoy it. Also, Phoebe is such an underrated character. I really like Phoebe. And music-wise, I have really been enjoying The Greatest Shaman soundtrack. Now, I'm going to take something a bit controversial. But I liked the film, but I didn't love it. I didn't think it quite lived up to the hype. I think it was just a bit predictable. And the storyline wasn't amazing. However, the soundtrack is amazing and I've really been enjoying listening to it. Rewrite the Stars is my favourite song and yeah, I've been listening to the soundtrack constantly. And Instagram, I have really been enjoying. By the way, whenever I say an Instagram I've been enjoying, I li is literally what I thought of on the spot there. I don't ever pre-plan these because I don't know. But an Instagram I've been enjoy enjoying is Alice Speak. Her baby's really cute, she's really relatable, and she's really nice. And her feet is always pretty. And I've also been enjoying me and Orla. Is it me and Orla or Orla and me? Sarah Tasker, let me have a look because I don't want to say it wrong. Me and Orla, yeah. Me and Orla by Sarah Tasker. Her photos are beautiful, she has some great Instagram tips. And she's really, really relatable, I think. And I really like her Instagram. I've not actually been reading that many blogs recently so it's a bit, a bit sad. I need to get back on that really. So I don't have any blog favourites for the month. Um, YouTube favourites, I probably say this every month but I'm really enjoying Zoe's vlog channel, more Zoella. Since she's been showing the whole business, business side of things I think it just gives a whole different perspective on who she is. It makes everyone take her more seriously. I find them very motivating and very interesting and inspiring. So, yeah, really enjoying those. Right, I'm going to get going. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And um, I will leave all the links to my other socials down below, so please check them out. I upload a blog post every Monday at 9.30am and a video every Sunday at 6.30pm. Right, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.